testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of Quick Hit 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. I want to check something real quick. Give me one second. There we go. Uh, it is good. Um, we're going to have a fun show today. We're going to get into what I think is um, a 50-50 fight that isn't that Vegas does not agree with me on. Um, it's the John Ryder, Danny Jacobs fight. All right, all set up now. It's the uh, Jacobs Ryder fight. Uh, before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Share, uh, follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, all forms of social media. Uh, quick Hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Um, also, please subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. Uh, all proceeds go to Autism Awareness, Autism Research and Recovery. Um, so please, it's near to our hearts, so please like and subscribe to that channel as well. All right, um, l- l- let's get into this fight um, because I-, I-, I do think this is this is interesting. Um, so Danny Jacobs has opened up close to a two to one favorite. That's considerable. Um, Danny Jacobs has not looked good since the Canelo fight, right? And in a lot of ways, Jacobs' best wins are close losses to Canelo and Golovkin. And I'm not saying he doesn't have good wins. But his best wins are Derevchenko, you know, uh, um, Sergio Mora, Peter Quillins, obviously. That, that would be his best win. I forgot about that. Um, those aren't really – they're good wins. Don't get me wrong. They're good wins. They aren't career-defining wins. Um, his his best performances, right? When you say, okay, he looks sensational, is the loss to Glufkin. Um, and that's not a disrespect to him. I, I thought he won that fight. A lot of people thought he won that fight. Probably most people thought he won that fight. Um, you know, put it in the comments. Do, who do you think won Jacob Glufkin? But he didn't get the win, right? So his his best wins, his best performances, losses. He needs a win here. Um, and, and Ryder, his best win is lost. It's lost to Tom Smith in a fight that many people thought he won as well. So both guys need a big a big win here. Um, Jacobs is is two to one favorite. People are going to pick Jacobs, and I, I kind of say let him at those odds. Um, Ryder is, is, is oddly built. He's short and stocky. He's short first in the middleweight. Danny Jacobs is going to have a huge high advantage over him. Um, and and Callum Smith is kind of basic, right? Like he's basically jab right. Uh, he's a southpaw, I'm sorry, so jab left hand, jab left hand. Um, but he, he he can do things well for being a, a a guy that looks like he's pretty limited athletically and physically. Um, he likes to come forward. He's going to come forward. Uh, he's going to try to get inside on Jacobs. Now, I, I think this is all the makings. Uh, no offense, because it's a good fight. It's a 50 50 fight. But I think this is all the makings of a snooze fest. Like, this is going to be a boring fight. It's going to be a boxing match where Jacobs tries to keep it at long range. And uh, Ryder's going to constantly try to get inside. Ryder doesn't really throw a lot, right? Like, he pressures and comes forward, but he doesn't really fire. And he doesn't, he doesn't really pack a whole lot of power. So he's not really going to make you shell up, right? Um, so I, I think this is going to be Ryder trying to get in the inside, slipping, slipping. Can he get past? Can he get in on Jacobs? Um, like I said, he, he's real solid built. Um, he, he needs to throw more. Uh, it's not going to be a fan friendly. If I'm just reading my notes here, uh, throws a lot of lead right hands. Uh, I'm sorry, he's a solid lead left hands. Uh, Jacobs likes to s- switch up into the southpaw stance. So I don't think that's going to bode him well, right? Um, the, the reason why is because he does throw a lot of lead right hands, left hands, sorry, lead left hands. When he does that, he leaves himself wide open to be counted with straight rights. So if, if Jacobs put himself in a southpaw stance, he takes himself out of the, the you know the realm of throwing the straight 
right hand. <clears throat> so I, I think Jacobs' best bet is to keep him at long range, keep him away at the jab, and score with the right hand. Jacob, um, Ryder's going to have to counter that. R Ryder's going to have to time that jab, get in, and he doesn't really double up the jab that much, but he's going to have to double up the jab and come in behind it with the left hand. Um, you, you, you watch Ryder, and it looks like, okay, this guy's just real big. It's just ones and twos, ones and twos. Well, he doesn't really even mix in threes. He goes to the body a little bit, not enough. But there's something, it's just, it, it's kind of like the, the parts are greater than the, uh, the sum is greater than the parchment writer. Um, like I said, his jab is short, but it's good. His power is good. It's not great. You know, it, 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 it's fine. It does the job. He's going to have to find a way to get on the inside. Um. And, and Jacobs, on his end, hasn't been great um, since moving up to 68. He's fought two fights at 68. He retired uh, Chavez after the fifth round. And a really bizarre fight with Chavez was doing okay. And then he fought Rosado, a blown up 160-pounder, who everyone thought Rosado won the fight. So Jacobs is not the same fighter at 68 that he was at 60. Um, if you're betting, I, I, I think at two to one odds. Now, Ryder's got a bunch of losses. Ryder lost to Rocky Fielding by split decision. He lost to Jake Arnfeld, and he lost early in his career as well, I think. Right? And he's got a but he got five losses. Kale Smith, Arnfeld, Rocky Fielding. So he's got losses. Uh, but he's, he's better than that. And, and of not a lot of action going on. Yeah, you know, I think it's going to be a boring fight. Like, it's in the UK. It's in London. They may score this fight. They may score these rounds for uh, John Ryder. So um, he, he's got to pressure. He's got to make Jacob shell up. And he's got to get in the side of that jab and, and, and then work when he does. But he's got to throw more punches. I, I, again, I keep saying it. I think this is going to be a fight, low action fight. I think you're going to have Danny Jacobs boxing from the outside. Jabbing from the outside, throwing an occasional right hand, and Ryder trying to walk him backwards, occasionally trying to slip inside. I think there's going to be not a lot to score here. And, like, that kind of makes me think in London, this may go to Ryder. Let me know think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, com uh, comment below. Let me know who you think is going to win. Also, let me know who you think won that Jacobs, uh, that Jacobs Glovkin fight and the uh, Ryder Cal Smith fight. Um, quick hits come take you every day, uh, eight, ten minutes a day. Uh, please share, like, and subscribe to the other channel as well, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3 Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.